There's nothing more cute than a puppy with a giant bow on its head, right? But someone could be shocked or overwhelmed by this gift. And Mike Deeth with Kiss Dog Training is here with Leo to explain the right way to do it. This seems like something that, oh, you're seeing the movies. It's this yeah. great moment. You're going to make, make magic on Christmas morning. But there's a little bit more to it than that. Absolutely. The first thing is nobody's going to turn down a puppy. Sure. They're adorable. They're cute. And... But to give somebody that kind of, you know, 10 years of responsibility yeah. without having their consent, mm -hmm. you know, they're going to take the puppy, but they may not be very happy with you six months later as they're still fighting potty training and some of the other stuff that they're doing. Exactly. I mean, you think about that that five minutes of magic that you're making at Christmas time, but you don't think about the, like you said, the 10 year commitment for yep. it and what all goes into it. Uh, okay, and talk a little bit about, we mentioned potty training, so well, who really wants to potty train a puppy during the holidays, right? Or winter. Or winter, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you really want to be out, you know, walking around in your in your bathrobe out mm -hmm. in the front yard trying to get the dog to go to the bathroom or well, getting I mean, woke I was, up at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> I was going to do that anyway. Yeah, but. exactly. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I think a lot of cases it would be better to you know spend your money wisely yeah. you know hire a trainer set up you know number one do you want a small dog do you want a big dog do you want an energetic dog do you want a nice big tour bus that yeah. doesn't do much <laughs> um, you know and find out and then maybe give a gift certificate maybe yeah. give a card that says we're gonna get a dog but we're gonna do it in March or we're gonna do it you know so on mm -hmm. and so forth um, think about fostering a dog from a local shelter, you know, that you may end up deciding yeah. to keep. Even some of the shelters will work gift certificates to where you can give the gift certificate at Christmas and come pick out the dog oh. later. So then you can bring the, you know, the kids the, back yep, or whatever, and the bring family the whole family and, and make, yep. it a, make it a family decision on which yep. one work best for you, right? Yep. And then what's your what's your take on 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 trainers in general? Um, just what should we be looking for when we're going out to train? I mean, let's say let's take a step back and say we went ahead and we we've got the puppy. We're yep. moving forward to it. Uh, what should we be looking for in trainers here when we're starting off? Make sure they're insured. Okay. Make sure they're certified because <laughs> yeah. you know right now dog training is one of those businesses where you don't have to be certified to claim your dog trainer. Oh, okay. So I think those are probably the two biggest things. Obviously, I come from the positive reinforcement slant. So yeah. personally, I think that uh, you know we we are the ones with the opposable thumb and all the gray, gray <laughs> matter, we should be able to outthink the dog, you know. Um, so mm -hmm. um, I would say those are the two biggest things. And the other is just to remember, it, it's not so much how much work you do, it's the consistency of the work that you do. Yeah. It, it's really, if you just promise to do 10 or 15 minutes worth of work every day, you're going to have an awesome dog in the yep. end. And that's all it takes. It's really it's all it takes. Okay, consistency. Well, we've been showing all these cute puppy pictures. Let's let's show Leo here a little bit <laughs> because so, she's, been getting tr she's been getting treats here on morning. Absolutely. All of her fun tricks here she's, for us. She's the proof. She's my 10-year-old, yeah. and uh, she's she's awesome. Now, she was giving high fives and stuff here yeah. earlier. Can hey, she do that again? Give me, give me a paw. Give me a paw. Oh. Thank you. Can you give me a high five? Get it up there. Good That's girl. right. All Leah, right. We, we love you, and, and you can come back and visit anytime. Absolutely. And uh, I will just, I could spend the next, like, you know, 10 minutes just staying here giving you pats and stuff. So we appreciate you, Mike. We Thank appreciate you. your time. And always the good information to have. And we appreciate you. Can I get a handshake? Hey, give me a paw. Can I get a paw? Give me a paw. Yes. Oh, you missed. You can come back on the show anytime. <laughs> Thank you.